No, no, massive congratulations. The celebrations at the end told the story there, didn't they? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, but the congratulations go first for the boys and for our fans, because it was incredible, incredible the way they, they work together, the way they stick together, humble, uh, defending, compact, and waiting for the right moment. They were very brave today, and the support was fantastic, like you say, in the end, celebrating these three points. It means three points, but it means a lot, a lot of courage coming back under uh, with one man less. Uh, really proud, really proud of them. What did you think of the sending off? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm worried. More than uh, seeing this, I'm worried. I'm worried what's going on. We, we Wolves team, we are a team in the competition. We are not fighting against nobody. We are competing for each game for, for our work. So let's respect the Wolves and this kind of things that have been said like let's beat Wolves to help, to help the competition doesn't, doesn't help, doesn't help the game because it creates an atmosphere that we, we are not fighting against each other so let's stop with these things and, and I hope the people that listen to me and understand uh, managers should just worry about who they're going to face, not the competition, you understand what I'm saying. So uh, be, uh, beside that, besides that, um, this referee is the second time that he's on our game and is a second second cent off. So I'm fair, I'm, I always tell what I think. I think he didn't do a good job today. Did he explain to you why he sent you from the pitch as well? Yeah, because I, I go inside of the pitch. I was not allowed to do it. It was not about, because of bad words. Um, I, I step one foot inside of the pitch. Okay, I accept it. I'm sorry, but it was not respectful for, for, for him. Um, what did you think to the way your team battled through, especially having gone 1-0 down early in the second half, the character they showed to stay in the game? Yeah, I think uh, just in the moment of the send-off, uh, we organised fast. We stay really compact, really compact. It requires a lot of hard work from one side to the other, wait for the right moment to recover the ball. Of course, we had less ball, but even we are able to, to, to go. And the second half was totally different. We, we go, we go, we, we, we got the, the, the unbalance of the goal, but we react immediately. We just, even with one man less, we go for the game. We go for the game. Of course, Bristol put the centre half as a, as a striker player, playing direct balls. Um, causes some some problems, but I think we defend well. We defend well. I think we deserve it. Honestly, we deserve it. The way we break, the way we we manage the space, the way Matt was able to go and, and bury uh, the boys that came in today really helped the team. Is about that because uh, before we had a lot of running, uh, people going going tired, and uh, the, the impact of the game and this fresh air, uh, the subs really help us. And it shows what we are doing. It shows what we are doing because everybody is important. Everybody is important. And knowing that the uh, right moment will come and the answer must be good, the performance must be good because we have to protect the team. It's all about the team. Just finally, um, I know you don't like to look at the table, but the gap is big now. You are 11 unbeaten as well. The manner in which you've turned that game round, what kind of a message does all of that send? Don't send any message, Mike. It's for us. It's only for us. It shows and for those fans. And for those fans. It shows that we have a long way to go, but we are in the right way. We are growing as a team, we are growing as a club and we have to be ready for the, the high challenge that's coming in front of us. Let's be ready for it.